Hello, my sweeties. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you had a great week. I'm here for Saturday Morning Makes, hosted and created by our Jill Norwood. Sweet, sweet lady. And I have very little to share. And you see Ginger? She's crossed over the Rainbow Bridge. My baby girl is gone. We lost her on November 17th, Wednesday. We're devastated. And um, it's bad, but we will get through it. We did the right thing. And as usually, only the survivors suffer. She's at peace. It's not the arthritis that did her in. It was the dementia. She started to not recognize us. She was crying all the time at the wall. And um, the deafness didn't help because she didn't hear us consoling her. So the vet said it was time and that's the kindest and most loving thing we can do. And sometimes that's also the most painful. But here we go. Uh, you probably think, oh, that Nancy always has drama. And I have to admit, the last couple of weeks we did have a lot of drama. But now it's going to be fine. And um, I'm here for Saturday morning makes. And I want to show you just a little. I, we did start decorating the house. And when we're done, well, the house, the living room. And when we're done, I will show you. Uh, I think it'd be great if all of us would show their tree and their decorations. It would be very festive, don't you all think? And, and you know, be very nice and give us ideas or just admire the things we do for Christmas. Okay. I used the, and, and, and I, I got the idea, I think it was from Elise, but hers were bigger and I couldn't find bigger. And I used these little thingies I bought from Hobby Lobby, but I used the backside. This I screwed up, of course, and I'll fix that. Because I can't really use this side because of the Noel. I used, this little ginger, I used <clears throat> this, this sentiment because this didn't fit. So I really only had one sentiment to you. Look, there's a thing. I really only had one sentiment to use, but that's all right. Uh, okay. Uh, I used one of these. I used, I cut out some of, I cut out a star, two stars or something in a glove. I used this string that I bought at, I think it was TJ Maxx or Burlington. It's a Martha Stewart thing. I didn't know she was still around. I used some of these and some of these. I think they're both from Hobby Lobby. I used the uh, just a few of the little candies I made. Uh, Shanna Stamps gave me this idea with the little perlers. And this came in on my... Oh, and I used this for the first time. I love the outcome. It's very, very smelly. And I don't have a garage, but I did do it under the carport. But in the winter time, I can't probably use it because of the 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 smell. Okay, I use. Oh yeah, this came in Monday. I got my Lily of the Valley stamps. I got these. I got these. And I got the grungy ones also. Very cute. And look, I cut a whole bunch out. I stamped and cut a whole bunch out. 
and uh, just to keep busy and stuff. So I'm going to show you which ones I made. And like I said, I give Elise credit because she's the one. I think she did it for her craft fair. And um, but she had bigger ones, and I looked for bigger ones last week, but I couldn't find any. Anyway, this is the one where I, I, I messed it up like this one, the stamp. I didn't do it right. So, um, so I cut up this some of this page and I decoupaged. Now, this is not my favorite one, I have to say, but it's okay. This is the twine I used. There's the little LOTV. This is not from the stamp sets I bought. This is the printable. This is the little candies I used. Uh, this is the greenery I used, some of that. And this is, oh, I put some little bells on here. And that's that one. This is the one I stamped with the little ginger. And Sue Crozier sent me the little bows. And this is a bow from Sue Crozier. Thank you, Sue. I... All I had to do, I had to cut the little tails off to make it smaller, but that's it. There's the greenery again, the twine again, and the jingle bells. And I used, there I used one of the stamped ones I, I bought. And a little snowflake charm and a little uh, candy cane. And now the last one is my favorite, and that was also my first one I made, and that's that one. Oh, I used red twine on this one, and there's the charms and jingle bell, and this is the stamp. That's the only stamp that fit in this little thing, and there I got more charms, and this is also one of the print print. Bolts. I think I made these before I received my stamps. Yeah, I made them Saturday, Sunday. I made them. I made some of them Sunday, and so I didn't have my stamps yet because they came on Monday. And that's all I have to sh share this week. Um, we did decorate the living, but we're not quite. This is what happened. We started decorating, you know, getting the things out for everything. And we couldn't find our Christmas tree. We couldn't find our Christmas And there's other things we can't find. Uh, like I had a whole range of uh, green deers. You know, they're like the Christmas tree tree. You know, they have that stuff on like the branches, but it's all tight and stuff. And I had a... The whole thing with the Santa Claus sleigh and everything, can't find it, gone, gone. But the worst thing is we couldn't find our Christmas tree. And believe me, I have a little house. I have a little house. Everything has to go in the attic because we don't have a garage. It's not up there. So we decided we had to throw it away, I guess. So at the last minute, we went to Hobby Lobby and had to buy a new tree. There you are. I'm like, oh, jeez. Okay, but we got the tree, and of course it was uh, half off. It was only sixty dollars because as the older you, the, the older your children and grandchildren get, your trees are getting smaller. <laughs> so it's only a four and a half foot tree, which was the last one that we had. It was only four and a half foot tree. But there's things we can't find and we must have thrown it out because we have searched a house and it's a little house. So anyway, um, that's all I have for you guys. Uh, have a great rest. Thank you, Jill, for still doing this. It's I think Jill said it's 43 weeks and isn't there 53 or 54, 53 weeks in the year or 54, three weeks? Weeks. So she's been doing this for almost a year. How great is that? And let's think about sharing our Christmas decorations when it's up, our trees and stuff. Wouldn't that be great if we do, if we all do that? Let's think about doing that. 
Um, so have a great uh, weekend. Have a great week. Uh, be good and kind to each other. Love each other. And love and peace. Bye-bye.